This is uh, number 425, Phagosylvatica Purple Fountain. Not much purple right now. Um, and actually, I should mention, I was doing some research last night, the, uh, the uh, Asplenifolia, the Dawick, the Dawick Aurea, the Purple Fountain have all won Royal Horticultural Society Awards uh, uh, garden merit. So that's the highest honor that Royal Horticultural Society can bestow on a plant. So this one is called Purple Fountain. So imagine it covered in leaves and imagine them all being purple. It's called Purple Fountain because it looks like it's a waterfall and obviously the leaves are purple. There are quite a few other cultivars of purple and various forms of pendulous beech, but this is, as I said, because the RHS is recognized at the Royal Horticultural Society, it's one of the nicest, one of the narrowest form, consistently purple right up until the autumn, and uh, again, very, very long-lived. So a really unique accent plant to have in the landscape. Whatever you do, if you plant them, only plant one. However, there is one exception. I have seen them plant it as a hedge, and that's really quite interesting. That's a screen. So you get this weeping purple background that can be really quite interesting. And that's okay if you want kind of an irregular informal hedge, because that's the shape that you're going to get, obviously. Okay. Again, look at the characteristics to identify it. You can tell it is the Phagus sylvatica, smooth bark, etc. So you can see a typical beech leaf. This is, I, I, sorry, I should qualify that, a typical Phagus sylvatica beech leaf, because if this was Phagus grandifolia, our native beech, it would be much narrower and a much thinner leaf. But you can see how fat that is? That's really quite distinct, whether it comes from purple fountain with the exception of splenifolia, where the leaf is quite cut. Uh, and you'll also see the venation is really quite pronounced and really quite distinct and quite attractive, right? Almost with the red veins. And that's a characteristic. So, you know, that is fairly unique. And the consistency or the texture, it's almost like a smooth, leathery texture. That's really what beech leaves are about. And this would be a kind of a medium to, to light green color, but very, very leathery and very durable leaf. Whoops, I just ripped it. You get the point. 